I'm Sabrina Samuels, your lifestyle, etiquette, and relationship coach. You know life is really beautiful when we make it that way. So let's get started. Welcome back to my show. I'm Sabrina Samuels and I thank you for tuning in. To all of my fabulous subscribers, thank you for your support. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if I say something that resonates with you. Greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to go to my website. You can find the, all the links, the store on Amazon, my website, as well as my online training program right underneath my banner on my home page. So check out those links and um, greatly appreciate that. All right, I have a question on this edition. And that is, is a college degree better than a trade? Is a college degree better than a trade? You know what? It's all good. My son did not want to go to college. He wanted to be a writer incredible writer. He could just put those words together and use all these fancy words and he just, um, his, his poetry and his writing just resonated with so many people and he wanted to go to writing school. But my husband being college educated with a few degrees, I went to college, I didn't finish. I didn't finish. I. I wanted to see the world, I wanted to model, I wanted to live life. So I didn't finish college, it was really not my thing. I did okay in college though, I, I must say that. But my husband, he pushed the college um, idea to my, our son. Well, he stayed in there for two or three years, but we should have followed his vision, our son's vision. And that is, he wanted to be a writer and he was good at it write music, poetry. Um, he, matter of fact, wrote a, a book. I don't think he finished the book. He also wrote scripts for sitcoms. And <clears throat> I just believe in my heart that would have been the right decision. So I said that to say this. College is not for everyone. I think a trade is really good. So many people need to learn a trade construction work. You know, Jesus, he was a carpenter. Construction work, any uh, blue collar job, um, landscaping, cleaning uh, industry, uh, hairstyling. Uh, there are just so many, so many wonderful things you can do. And you don't have to go to college. You will have to do a trade school for some things and then some things you'll learn on your own if you're out there working with a company that will teach you. But I, I am not one for saying you've got to go to college, you've got to be a doctor or a lawyer or um, a physicist or something really big and important. That's good too if that's where your head is and that's where your heart is and that's what you want to do. But if it's not, don't denigrate the trade business. Don't denigrate that. Don't uh, make young people feel bad because they don't want to go to college encourage them for what they want to do. So make sure that you encourage your, your daughter, your son, uh, your friends, um, encourage their children, encourage young people in general to pick up a trade, pick up a skill, know how to do something. Even though I did go to college, I didn't finish, my major was education. And so I was able to use what I did learn in college to open my own company and I've been in business since 1982, so it didn't, it wasn't in vain, but I think that if I had done what I really wanted to do, and that is to really get out there and start modeling, uh, maybe take a, a business trade, uh, go to school to learn business and specialize in business, that would have been a better deal for me. Some people make six figures and up doing blue collar jobs. It depends on how much you learn, what you're doing, 
and how far you want to advance in that business. So let's encourage our young people, let's encourage each other. We don't have to have a title, a big, huge title next to our name to be successful. What you have to have next to your name is the personality and the desire to do whatever you do very well. Tis a job, great or small, do it well or not at all. So that's my tip for this edition, short, sweet, and to the point. Hit that thumbs up button. Whatever you're doing, do a good job at it. That's all I say. Do a good job at it. If you want to go to college, enjoy yourself, do that. But if you don't, pick up a trade, a skill, learn some things, and you'll always have a job. I guarantee that. I love you. God bless you. Be the best that you can be. And whatever you do, be proud of yourself first. You don't need to have all the accolades of someone else. Be proud of who you are and what you're able to do. God loves you. God made so many different personalities and so many beautiful spirits that can do so many wonderful things. Hone in what you can do. Hone in on what you can do and do it well. God bless you. Divine order at all times. Remember, you're a winner. Remember, hard times come, but when they do come, that's the time to learn even more because there's a lesson in everything, both challenging as well as rewarding. I'll talk to you soon. Much love and blessings always.